Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village and today we're going to learn to make one of three different kinds of bows you can use to embellish your pretzel wreaths. The first one we're going to make is a single loop bow. If you have a ribbon that is plain on one side or different on one side than it is on the other, you're going to need to make a twisted bow. So the first thing you want to do is decide how long you want the end to be and then decide how big you want your loop to be. Hold it between your fingers and then pull this part back and twist very tightly right here and make the second loop so that it's the same size as the first loop. Okay, once you've done that, you want to secure it. You can either use wire or you can use another piece of ribbon. If you use another piece of ribbon, you squeeze it in the middle with your bow in the middle, wrap your ribbon around and then tie it securely. It's a little bit difficult to do when you only have two fingers because it's very important that that is a very tight, tight knot. Once you've secured that knot, then you want to make sure that your ribbon is twisted so that the part that's hanging down, the streamer of your bow, is going the same direction on both pieces. Once you have that secured, then go ahead and tighten up your ribbon as tightly as you can. Now if you're using ribbon to make the center of your bow, you do have to twist it some. You will have to play with it until you get it. Just remember you're bigger and stronger than that bow. If you're using ribbon to secure your bow, another piece, then you won't need to embellish the center of it. But if you use your wire, I use 28 gauge wire and it works really well. It makes a tighter center, but then you also have the little bit of silver ribbon, in, I mean the silver wire in the middle, and then you will want to put something on it to cover up that bit of wire that's in the center. So remember, when you're making a single loop bow, be sure you twist it, play with it, and remember, if it doesn't work for you, you can always start over again. That's the beauty of cloth bows. So that's how to make a single loop bow for your pretzel wreath or your picture frame.